Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today's episode of Pytholic we are going to learn about how to install Python on Windows 10 and I'm going to tell a few different ways that we can install Python so do watch the whole video till the end so that you don't miss out on any of the important topics that we discuss here so if you're ready let's begin So the first thing that you need to do to install Python is go to the Python's website that's the official website that we have python.org and here you will find the downloads tab here you can go to uh, download for windows and there's the button that you need to click because there's the latest version of python that we have this is the latest stable version actually we already have a beta version for 3.9 already released but uh, we don't have it as a stable version so we are going to use this and you just need to click on this it will start the download so once you have downloaded this you can just save the file so once you've downloaded the file, what you need to do is you need to just double click on this one and it will start the installation page. So here, as you can see, it opens up a Python setup installation page and there are a few important things that we need to understand here. Okay, I just don't want you to blindly follow any of the process here like install now or custom installation. And I want you to understand the differences here between install now and customized installation. And we will be installing Python both ways. So keep watching. So when you click on install now, what Python exactly tells is there are a few important points that we need to understand here. So the first point that we have here is what Python tells us is that you don't have to be an administrator until and unless you have selected the install launcher for all users. Okay. And the second point is that Python will be installed on your user directory. The user directory is the one for the user who is currently installing it. Third and a very important point is the Python launcher for Windows will be installed according to the option at the bottom of the first page. So here, as you can see, we have C users, app data, local programs, Python, Python 3.8-32. So this is the directory in which Python is going to install by default because we are not changing the installation path here. And all the standard library, test suite, launcher, and pip will be installed along with the express installation step. And the fifth point that we have here is, and we need to understand is that if you have selected install now, the install directory will be added to your path, okay, automatically. So as I've already explained before on the Python tutorial that for the Python to be executable through CLI or terminal, it needs an environment variable path that has to be added to the environment variables okay so in this option it will get automatically added and the shortcut will be only visible to the current user because you are the one who is installing it and if you have selected install for all users even though other users on your machine would be able to access python the shortcut will only be visible to you okay i hope these points were clear so now let's move on to what happens when you choose customized installation so the first thing that we need to understand here is you may need to provide the administrator credentials or approval you need to have an approval so what it tells is that for installing some custom installation steps you might need to have administrator credentials if you are not having administrator privileges okay but i'm sure this option actually is applicable for both the approaches if you choose install for all users options in the setup so it makes a very minimal difference in this one uh, and the next point that we have is here it will be installed into the program files directory so every windows operating system has a program files directory which is the default location for all the application that get installed on your computer okay don't worry we will verify this as well but you need to remember that when you select this customized installation process it will install all the files in the program files directory okay and the next thing we must understand or remember is that python launcher for windows will be installed on the windows directory okay there is another folder windows in the windows operating system this is where the python launcher for windows will be installed and the next one is here in this option the main thing is having a provision to install the optional features that you want and it can be selected during installation okay there are some optional features that you want to choose or remove you can do this using the customized installation okay the next point is somewhere many of you might be confused in this option we can enable to pre-compile and generate pyc files or what we call as the byte code so that it doesn't have to be done for the first time we import them okay so which improves the execution time and sometimes the performance as well okay so remember these points in this option as well the install directory will be added to the system path and here shortcuts are visible to all the users for whom you have installed python okay so i hope you got the basic ideas of the differences that we have here let's move on to the demo then 
so this is the installation page that we have here so we can just click on install now and uh, if you want you can add python 3.82 path okay first way that we are going to install python is i'll click on install now but i'm not going to choose add python 3.8 okay so let's see what happens so it will take some time don't worry okay it will get installed so the setup was successful we can just hit on close and now we are going to go to the command prompt and check whether python is already installed or we have the access for python using the cli so this is the terminal that we have and if i just type python it should work if it is added to the path okay so this is not recognized as an internal or external command okay so we don't have access to python through terminal right now so how we are going to make this work we are going to make this work by adding the path of the python's executable to the environment variables okay we'll add that to the path so where we can get the path here so you need to go to my computer or this pc and you can just right click on properties and here you will find options like device manager remote settings system protection advanced system settings you need to go to the advanced system settings okay so once you click on this you will get system properties and that you will have an option to go to advanced and then environment variables this is where we are going to add the path so here you can find user variables of python and system variables so user variables is applicable for the current user that is uh, working on this machine as i am the only one who is currently using this i will change the options for path in user variables for tougher apollo that's the username you can scroll down and you will see path here in the variable section and it already has a few values already added so when i double click on this one path it opens up a portal for me to basically add new environment variables that i want to add so here there are options to basically add it so when you click on new it will give you the option to type it or else you can go ahead and browse it so as we already discussed that when you use install now it is going to be installed in a specific path so this is the path where we need to go and check for the python executable and let's see what we find there so when you reach here what happens is you're not able to see the app data folder because it is hidden okay this is the hidden folder so what you need to do is go to view and you can select hidden items so once you have selected that you will see the app data and inside that we have local and we have programs then we go to python and here we have the python installation directory so this is the part that we need to copy so you can just copy this and now you can go here and you can click on new and you can basically add this i'll just expand this okay so i've added this so once you've added this what you need to do is you can just move it above and keep it at the top okay so that it gets the first uh, option for it to get recognized and what you need to do is you just need to click on ok then ok then you can just save it by clicking ok here and you can just start the terminal once again and here once you go to the terminal here and uh, type python and that's where we have our python installed and you can perform any operation that you want a equal to print a yes we have python installed now so what i'm going to do i'm going to uninstall this one so now the uninstall was successful you can just close it okay and i can go to the command prompt once again and type python so now it is completely uninstalled so one more thing that we need to do here is we need to clear the path that we added in the user variables so go to properties go to advanced system settings environment variables and path here and just delete it okay and now just save it so now what we need to do is we'll go for the second option so this is our python installation file I'll double click on this one and I'll choose this but I'll add python 3.8 to path which will automatically get added okay so let's see what happens here so now the setup was successful so we can just close it and now you can go back to the terminal once again and type python yes this is how it works then if you have added the path automatically it will get installed automatically okay so let's go and see what we have in the user variables path see so it has automatically added the script path and the executable path to the environment variables okay so when you select add python 3.8 to path it automatically adds it to the user variables okay let's see if it has added to the system variables no it hasn't added anything here and it has not added anything related to python in the system variables 
Okay, so this was quite clear then. So I hope you are enjoying this as I am. So let's move on to the custom installation path. Okay, so we have to again uninstall this. I'll just go ahead and uninstall it. So once it is uninstalled, I just wanted to check if it automatically removes the entries that we had added when we tried to install it using the auto installation step. So here we go back again to environment variables and go to the path. So here what happens is as we did not add it manually, it has automatically cleaned the path okay, from the environment variables. So now what we are going to do, we are going to follow the customized installation and I will also not add python 3.8 to path okay so choose customized installation here if you see there are five or six options here okay so the first optional feature that we have is documentation so if you want you can just deselect this to not install pip okay so this is also a very good option for us but i would recommend to install pip automatically along with this and TCL and TK and IDLE also can be added or you can just deselect it if you don't want this and Python test suits also can be installed or deinstalled based on the option that you want and here is the most important option remember this spy launcher okay if I select this okay I'll tell you what happens okay so here also you can choose whether it has to be installed for all users or not and you can deselect it if you don't want to okay so I will just click on next see I haven't chosen add python 3.8 to path but let's see what happens. Uh, so here in customized installation you get an advanced option. So you can choose to install it for all users, you can associate files with python, okay all the py files that you have will get automatically assigned with python and you can create shortcuts for the installed application and you can add python to environment variables. If I don't select this what will happen we will see and pre-compile standard library. I told you this option when we are discussing about the differences so remember this i will not choose this right now and the other option that we have here and here you can choose to install it in the standard path that it already provides or you can as well browse it and install it anywhere that you like okay so let us keep it there itself and just click on install so now the setup was successful okay i'll close this and i'll start this once again we'll type python it is not recognized okay remember one thing that i told you py launcher if you type py it will get added and you might ask why as i already told you the python launcher for windows will be installed into the windows directory when you select py okay in the slides as well so remember when you have this option enabled you can go to windows there is a windows folder in every machine that you work so you can go to this PC and here you will see the windows folder. This is the executable that is present inside the windows folder. Okay and that is how even if you haven't added anything in your environment variables you are able to access it. And this is the executable that gets added when you install python using the customized installation step and I think it will also work with the install now option as well. So you might feel like how does this work then we haven't added py.exe or the path slash slash windows to our user variables the basic idea of using windows is the most important executables will be inside windows c slash windows so even if you don't add it anything that resides under c slash windows any executable will automatically be accessible from the terminal so i hope your concepts were clear on this one but for us, the convenience is basically to use uh, Python by typing Python. Okay. So as this is not recognized right now, what we can do is we can just add that. So once you've added, you can just move it to the top. Okay. And just save it. And you can relaunch the terminal again. And you can type Python. It'll work. Okay. The next thing that I want to tell you is basically about, so if you hit on pip here, it is not recognized right now. So pip is basically your python package installer don't worry about this we have a session on this completely so don't worry about this we'll be discussing this in depth so this is the location where we can find the executable path for pip and easy install so this is the one that we are going to add it to the path again okay so this path okay so what we can do is we can go back to my computer then go to environment variables and go to path and select new and add it okay 
once you've added it just click on this and click on move up okay so now you have both the paths added just click on save close this restart it again it works this also works pip also works now so now you know how to install python you know how different ways we have to install python you know what are the custom installation steps we can take for python and this was a lot of information that we covered but it was really interesting for me as well i hope it was interesting for you so basically if you have any doubts on this one you can post it on the comment section below and uh, just one more thing that i wanted to tell you let's suppose you want to install any packages that you have for python or you want to have it for your program that you're writing any additional modules that you need you can install it through python so what you need to do is just the basic step i will tell you for this just one example you can type python install so you can just type pip install and you can just provide the module that you want the name that you want okay let's suppose i want to read some excel sheets i'll install this module and if you don't specify a specific version it will collect the latest version and it will install it so i hope this was really interesting for you and you got to learn a lot of stuff in this episode as well if you want to watch more you can subscribe to my channel and uh, and i would request you to please 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 like share and subscribe we are a small family right now but i am trying my best to give you the best content possible so please make sure you do that and don't miss out on the next episode that we are going to cover for the next episode we are going to cover about pip and virtual environments and it will be completely visualization based so please don't miss out on that okay so i'll meet you in the next episode of the python series that we have here and for now it's pytholic your friend signing off Thank you.